This week on Horns and Hooks TV, we're going steelhead fishing on the beautiful Wainuchi River with Jumpin' Jake's Guide Service. <laughs> Stick around after that, and we're gonna go chase some Grace Harbor Gold. We're going razor clam digging, baby. To complement our 5 to 20 power scope, Huskama Optics is proud to introduce its new smaller and lightweight 3 to 12 power scope. From varmint hunting and lightweight backpacking to heavier calibers for the deadliest game, this scope is built for an even wider variety of applications. With all the high quality lens coating and durability you've come to expect from a Huskama scope topped with turrets customized to fit your ballistic profile. The new 3 to 12 from Huskama Optics, the only patented windage enabled yardage turrets on the market. It doesn't matter what sort of adventure you're after, whether it's big game deep in the backcountry, a day of fishing out on the water, or an overnight in the great outdoors. At Sportsman's Warehouse, we've got the gear in here for what you need out there. Gear up for your adventure at one of over 45 locations or shop online. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. We're all seeking adventure, and there's no better place to find it than Grays Harbor County. From our South Beach to our North Coast and the Quinault Rainforest, Grays Harbor County, always changing, always unforgettable. Visit our website or call us for your next getaway. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskama Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. And Horns and Hooks Magazine. Subscribe today at hornsandhooks.com, where outdoor adventures await 24 hours a day. We've been trying to get out with Jake several times. We'd get a hold of Wayne, Wayne would plan on coming out, and then the rain would come down and blow the river completely out. Luckily, this time, the rain stopped just in time for us to launch the boat. Jake knows the Wainuchi River and all of these rivers around Grace Harbor extremely well, so I felt confident he'd put us on a couple fish today, even though conditions were not ideal. Today on the Wainuchi, we're gonna be side drifting eggs. Side drifting is one of my favorite ways to fish for steelhead. We have the best rods on the market, North Fork Custom Rods. The sensitivity in the graphite is second to none. You can feel the difference between the tick of a bottom on a rock or a twig and the bite of a fish. It's just unreal how sensitive this graphite is in these rods. I mean, they're perfectly matched to the application we're using them for today. Wayne and Diana have really outdone themselves when it comes to making these rods. And you're casting upstream at approximately a 45 degree angle so that your eggs are bouncing along the water at the approximate speed that the boat's drifting. Now the, the guide, he's got a real challenging, challenging job to keep that boat in perfect position to where we can side drift those eggs right along the shore, right where that slot is that those steelhead are running up. Guaranteed fish, this cast. It's like a dance, the guide's leading and Wayne and I are following. 
Well, not quite like the fish dance, but it's like a dance, you know, you gotta follow your leader. We're gonna get on one in a minute here. Gonna be ripping some lips here pretty quick. My prediction is Wayne's gonna hook up. Ooh. There you go. Fish. Real, 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 real. Let me oh, get above you. Let me right. get above you. On a North Fork working man's rod. That a boy. Look at that. Look at that fish. Look at that shaker. Yeah. You notice that fish video? Fish way hooked me. Nice fish, buddy. Nice work. <laughs> this is the first fish of the day. We've been on the water like 20 minutes. And I called Wayne Fish on literally three seconds before he hooked up. <laughs> I must be prophetic today because that is a beautiful fish on a North Fork Working Man series. Jump at Jake's Guide Service, Wainichi River. Got one to get the day started. It's a good sign. Good fish, Wayne. Nice hook up. I'm pretty sure I got a hit right before that, too. <laughs> well, guys, um, let's run back and go through all of what we just did, okay. and then we'll keep working our way down. Okay. But that's a good sign to hook one on your first pass. I enjoy fishing with Wayne. If Diana caught it, then much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy. He's complete entertainment from start to finish. Looks so good, I eat it myself. Okay, Rexosaurus. I know Diana misses me. I mean, he's got a fish dance. And he brings the fishing poles. This guy can build some fishing rods. Now that my tummy's full of cookies. Thanks, to, the, thanks to Diana, she either. fixed me a sack of cookies. Told me not eat them all, give them to Rex, but when I get home, I'm gonna tell her Rex ate them all. I didn't get one. Well, let's face it, Diana does most of the work. With the water levels on the rise, there was a lot of hidden brush to contend with. Jake did his best to keep us out of them. I'd wait, I'd wait till after these couple of them. Old Wayne and I, we found our, our fair share of them hidden snags. <laughs> First one of the day. <laughs> well, Wayne lost a lot more gear than I did, I'll tell you that. I got a snag twice on my drift. <laughs> Wayne definitely went through a lot of gear. Between Wayne and I, we just lost about, oh, 10 liters in about a mile stretch. It was pretty impressive performance. That's why we bring extras. That is impressive. A guaranteed fish coming right up. Rex has got one. Rex has got one. Good fish, too. We'll be right back with more Horns and Hooks TV. The all new broadband limb savers are the most effective limb savers ever created. They install in seconds and come in a variety of custom colors. Also new from Limb Saver is the AWS Modular Stabilizer. Customize and tune your bow by adding or subtracting nodes and adjusting the sliding precision weight when you need maximum performance, accuracy, and reliability, there's only one choice. Limb Saber, legendary performance.
North Fork Customs. Quality rods built one at a time. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. I love side drifting eggs. This is my favorite type of steelhead fishing and nothing feels better than setting the hook on a nice steelhead with a Series 1 North Fork Custom Rod. Rex has got one. Beautiful fish right here on the Working Man Steelhead Series. Nice fish. What do you think, Wayne? Yeah. It's a beauty, huh? You ready, Jake? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, had a boy. Nice work. Beautiful. The Working Man Series rod. That is a nice fish right there. Thank you, Jake. We had a great day here on the Winucci. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate oh, it, man. No problem. Yeah, we had uh, we were two for three. It's a little bit of an odd day, though. You know, the water was coming up. I uh, hope we can get out again. Maybe do the hump tulips or sats up or shahalas or something with you. And oh yeah, we'll get back out there. Yeah, it was a great time. If anybody wants to get a hold of you, go to jakesfishing.com. Next <laughs> time we go with Jake, I promise we won't lose so many liters. It happens. <laughs> I only lost half of them. <laughs> I love digging razor clams. It's one of my favorite things to do. We met up with Horns and Hooks pro staffers Brady Palmer and Amy Spoon, sighted in the clam gun, and off to the beach we went. Fried clams, baked clams, people bake them. Um, clam chowder, clam stew, is there a stew? I've made pasta with clams in it before. Um, clam fritters, which are the same as clam balls. So We're gunned here, up, ready to go. This long range? Mine's this is like a, short range. This is a long range clam gun? <laughs> Mine's like short and fat range. Yeah, you got like the 375 of the clam guns. Yeah. It's like the shotgun. We're excited. We're going to go get some clams, some nice razors. And uh, like fry them up for our New Year's party tomorrow <laughs> night. <laughs> See what we got. Horns and hooks. Clamming in Grace Harbor County. You can get the whole family out there, get them out there digging for razor clams. Grace Harbor has some of the best razor clam digging in the world. These clams get big. And of course, the best clams are in the surf. Everybody knows that. So we're just here for hooks, right? Welcome to Hooked On Gear. Today we're in our local sportsman's warehouse and we're getting ready to go on a clam dig. I prefer to use a clam shovel. It's just a short, spade nose shovel. It's good for digging. You know, just jam it right in the sand behind the clam hole, shove it up, and uh, stick your hand in behind it, and start digging with your hand. 
pretty simple method. You know, you've got a narrow, thin, spade nose shovel. Uh, Brady here's got a clam gun. I like the gun, that? I like the shovel, but uh, sometimes if you want to stay dry and you have a lot of surf, I'll choose the gun. You gotta yeah. be careful, it hurts your back, but... Uh, you gotta have proper technique. <laughs> yeah. You just stick it over the hole, kind of maybe angle it towards the water a little bit, force it into the sand, and it's got a, got a hole right here that you plug, pull the sand out, be careful for your back, use your legs so you don't pull your back out, and uh, just let go of the hole and shake the clam out. Make sure you stop by your local sportsman's warehouse to get your clam gear. But make sure there's a clam tide first. It's like an added bonus. Come yeah. over to Western Washington, do a little fishing. Get a three-day license for affordable. And yeah, make sure you get a clam gun, clam shovel, clam net, and uh, you're set to go. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskama Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Help a disadvantaged youth experience the outdoors by becoming a sponsor member and get a free subscription to Horns and Hooks magazine. Smith is number one in the Northwest. We are the Northwest's largest Chevy GMC Cadillac and Buick dealer and have been for 19 years. Go to DaveSmith.com today and find out why we are the Northwest's largest. Hook yourself a great deal. Shop the Bighorns. Buy your next vehicle at DaveSmith.com. Call 800-635-8000 now to talk to a sales expert about hooking yourself a great deal. For all your boating and personal watercraft needs, visit the great folks at U.S. Marine Sales and Service. Your number one Northwest Yamaha dealer. Come see our selection of power boats, jet skis, outboard engines, and more. With a fully certified service department, courteous staff, and impressive selection of parts and accessories. Family owned and operated for over 20 years. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. So what we're doing here is we're pounding the, the sand right next to where the tide comes in and out. These clams, they'll neck up, they get their neck sticking just out of the sand, and they'll spit the sand out trying to get the water, filter the water through to feed. And what you do by pounding this hard sand is you'll get them to spit and you'll see where they're at. You've heard the, the, the term pound sand. That's what we're doing today. We're pounding sand looking for holes. Looking for clam holes, just pounding sand. It's a lot easier to see them when they're spitting at you, like right there. See that one? There's a clam hole right there. This is the cheater shovels because you don't got to get all dirty. You don't got to put your hand in the hole. <laughs> Push it down, pull it out, shake it out.
a good one. Wow. No clam, but got bait. This is a sand shrimp, which I'm gonna use for steelhead bait. So this is the neck, so they sit in there with their backs to the ocean like that, kind of at an angle, and they got this foot that comes out, and that thing digs down and down and down. If they get too deep, you lose them. They dig way fast. Oh, this is the, yeah, the clam spoon, not a clam shovel. I'm gonna get this handle reworked over the spring. It's gonna be spoon special on the side. It's gonna be a little bit of pink camo or something. A little flare. It's gonna be awesome. I enjoy digging razor clams. You get out there, you get in the surf, you're playing on the beach. Hey, it's fun. You get wet, you get sandy. Who doesn't like playing on the beach? That's a good one. All right, I got one more to go. I'm going deep for this one. I'm gonna try to get me a moss back clam. Of course, the best and the biggest clams are out in the surf. Everybody knows that. We had a great time. Got some really nice clams. Man. Show some clams off, Amy. That's my best one. It's a dandy. It's a dandy. Little moss back one. Still can love play. Yep, and then fritters. Awesome. For New Year's Eve. Love me some clam fritters. What a beautiful day in Grace Harbor. It amazes me every time I'm out here on the beach. It's just completely relaxing. The sun's going down. The waves are coming in. This is truly one of the most beautiful places on Earth. Everybody enjoys the beach. Everybody loves clam digging. On the right side of the river, if you want to have a peek. I said I've seen it all, man. And he gave me one crazy look. And threw me a magazine. That said, Home it's fun. It's great. The kids love it. Get them out there, enjoy it. Beautiful day, late December. You can come out here and take a limit in half hour, 45 minutes if you know what you're doing. Yep. For those of you that don't know what you're doing, it's not that hard. Just get out here, pound sand. Yeah, you'll learn it within a few holes. Yeah, it won't take you long. Thanks for joining us. See you next week on Horns and Mucks TV. Said I read field and stream since I was a kid. <laughs> he just By kissed the clown. <laughs> 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 <laughs>